jama'a barkan mu da warhaka barkan mu da sake sanar da ku a cikin aji namu na biyu wanda muka bashi na kanin wato programming a yaren Hausa da kuma Turanci a yau ajin namu na biyu wanda kuma zai kasance aji na farko da zamu yi magana ne akan wato programming language wanda nima musali zan gabatar kamar yadda na ce zamu yi bayani ne akan programming da yaren Hausa da kuma yaren Turanci wanda ba dan kai bane domin mu taimaka mutane mu wanda suke koso koyar programming language din da yaren Hausa wanda a nakasari da yawa mutane suka iya koyar programming ne da yaren Turanci sannan kuma ina ba su fahala ta wajen fahimtan yaran ni ba ba haushe bane zan iya kokari na dagan cewa na ida wannan sakon ya izo gare ku ta yaren Hausa sai ku yi hakuri da ni yadda hazancin Hausa na take da haka bayan mu je kan karatun kai tsaye kamar yadda nake zamu yi magana ne akan programming language me ake nufi da programming language programming language kalma ce guda bi a wajen programming da kuma language programming is the process of you giving instruction to the computer to do one or two things for you while language is a system of communication either by written or spoken which is used in a particular area or country da haka programming language ba kai bane illa yaren da computer ya sani ta wajen ba da umarni kamar yadda nace bai kamata kai tsaye kawai mu je kan ga sanin me ake nufi da programming a language ba ya kamata mu san bai ake nufi da program programming da kuma programmer idan muka ce program is a set of instruction that tell the computer what to do wani tsarin umarni ne wanda ake ba wa computer domin yayi wani abu ko kuma ta aiwa ta wani abu idan muka ce programming a lokacin da kake ba da umarni wa computer maka wani abu kana programming wato the process of you giving instruction to the computer to do one or two things for you at that stage you are programming and uh, when we talk about programmer is nothing does is somebody who give instruction to the to the computer in order to do one or two things programmer ba koyi bane shine mutumin da ya ba da umarni wa computer wa computer yi wani abu shi ake nufi da programming kafin mu je kai tsaye yawanci a secondary school ko primary school ko kuma in ce a jami'a an sha tambayar mu computer only understand zero and one da haka za mu je kai tsaye inda za mu gano cewa yaya computer understanding instructions naka tunda yaran computer an ce mana is zero and one da haka za mu yi bayani ne dake 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 saboda dukkan mu fahimta kafin mu gaiga ba da umarni wa computer da haka za mu fara ne da abin da ake ce da shi high level language da kuma low level language idan muka ce low level language ana ce da shi idan muka ce low level language is a type of programming language that contain basic instruction recognized by the computer because they are binary ticket yes of course of course and we all know that computer only understands zero and one so akwai kuma abin da ake ce da shi types of low level language ana ce da shi machine language and kuma assembly language idan muka ce machine language is the language that the computer understand in form of zero and one while the assembly language is also machine is also low level language but it's more closer to human language meaning it's well understood by the human and then we have what we call the high level language high level language are english type language in other way around a human understandable language what to high level language yana ba dama wa programmers su rubuta programs ba tare da wani umarni ta gefen set ka processing unit wato cpu now we have example of high level language we have java We have C, we have C++, we have Fortran, we have Visual Basic and so on. So all these are all example of high level language. Why did I say is a human understandable language? For instance, whatever we do is based of our language, based of our understanding. Yawanci muka yi wani abakan computer, yawanci muna iya yin shi da base of what? Base of abin da muka fi sani, abin da muka fi fahimta, muke ba da computer umarni. For instance, mun fi for instance mun fi sani cewa idan a Excel muka iya ba da umarni ne ta gefen wato uh, computing student results misali a ce kai adding totals ya ake hadawa formulas ake ba da ne uh, formulas ake ba da uh, exact din domin ya ba mu ansan mu dan haka she muna ba da formula bisa me bisa fahimtan mu da kuma bisa yadda yaran da muka dauke shi haka muke bayarwa kenan high level language ba kai bane illa yaran da mu muke aiki da computer muke ba da shi based of fahimtan mu that's simple about high level language that is why i classify him as what as human understandable language so then muka ce the example of high level language muna da java muna da c++ muna da fortran muna da you know q basic all these are all example of high level language kafin nan ya kamata mu sani what are the difference between high level language and uh, low level language and the difference between high level language are 
and uh, the differences between uh, the difference between high level language and low level language one which is they allow programs to write they allow programmers to write programs that are not dependent on cpu while in low level language the programs are machine dependent language here they are human understandable language in low level language they are machine understandable language and uh, three says program written in high level language must be translated into the language the computer understand while in low level language the code are directly understand by the computer so kagani a high level language dole ne duk abinda kai high level language computer ce a a dole dai sai an convert na shi into liyaran sa kenan whatever you do as in base of your own language which is the high level language needed to be thought translated back to the machine language kenan duk abinda za kai a computer ka tabbata cewa fa shi ba ba abinda ya sani sai 0 a 1 duk abinda ko a excel ko a wani language ko duk ya ce mm daya dole sai na komar da kai zuwa yare na that is one high level language needed what to be translated back to the language the computer understand and in that low level language they are machine understandable and in that low level language the code are directly understand by what by the computer which is the machine da haka duk abin da zamu ya computer ko ma mai kai sai ka ga computer ce daya an komar da shi zuwa 0 and 1 to ya ya koma wani language serving in between the high level language and the low level language akwai abin da ake ce da shi interpreter sannan akwai abin da ake ce da shi compiler shi interpreter or shi compiler will compile everything she say converting dika programs in gaba daya sai executing wa ba ku machine language while the interpreter will interpret line by line code line by line instructions kafin ya execution misali a ce kaman wannan line code da ka ba da umarni ne wannan ma na yi to interpreter will interpret the line and execute ya koma na biyu ya koma na uku haka ake interpreter but the compiler will what compile everything she translate she ke ba da dama ya translating duk abin da yake wato yake high level language zuwa low level language wato she serving sakanin uh, high level language da kuma machine language so whatever you do being either in excel being either in any programming language so the translator needed what to be translated back to what to the machine language which is zero or one and one of the advantage over low level high high level language over low level language is that because they are easier to read easier to use and also easier to write that's simple about that so anan aji na za ta dakata inda zamu yi magana a next aji namu da zamu yi bayani dai mataka akan yadda wato yadda ake developing software wani language zamu yi aiki da shi c++ ne java ne a uh, fortran ne da dai sauran su amma ina gani abin da ya kamata mu dauka shi ne visual basic wadda zai fi ba mu dama mu gan cewa uh, mun koyaita a cikin sauki saboda in ka duba visual basic uh, is more closer to human because the syntax look like english language and it is very very easy to use and uh, in our next class we going to know what are the important of uh, visual basic why visual basic and what are the visual uh, what are the characters that is acceptable in visual basic that is the character set and uh, also what are variables and how to declare variables what are the invalid and invalid variables you know and what are the data types we have in visual basic and all this idan wannan kuma shirin ya kaitar da kai da haka muna bukatan kai muna subscribing kai muna liking domin zai ba mu karfin giwa domin duk lokacin da muka daura wani abin da ya shafi programming mun tabbata zaka same shi kai tsaye kuma mu a shirye muke da mummi ba ka shi da haka bisalam